know, due to the, the lack of available cell surface antigens, not a lot of uh, therapies can actually effectively target it. So it it's, can be left to grow unchecked. Uh, also, if, uh, other than targeting, the tumors tend to be more aggressive. Mm -hmm. Anti-hormone therapy does not work because they do not have the, uh, the hormonal receptors. Mm -hmm. So the therapeutic options for these patients are very limited. As a result of that, the metastasis and the aggressive nature of the tumor makes it very challenging to address with current therapeutics. In our poster, we have some really nice data showing uh, single agent efficacy of uh, CBX15 in the rat model of triple negative breast cancer. So not only is it safe and highly efficacious in the rat, but what's really neat about this study is that we show that it has a really nice long-term anti-tumor immunological effects. Um, so after animals are cured by CBX15, their immunological uh, system still recognizes tumor later on. So you can re-challenge the animals later, months later after they've been cured, and their cells still recognize the tumor and eliminate the tumor. And this is uh, not just in vivo, but you can also isolate these uh, immune cells and uh, re-challenge them with tumor ex vivo, and they'll still recognize the tumor cells, which is really interesting. So activation of the immune system and long-term memory of the immune system helps the body. The hope is that even clinically we can translate it whereby once you activate the patient's immune system, you don't have necessarily need a, need a combination with current immuno uh, onco on oncolytic uh, therapeutics. You could just do it just by CBX15 followed by activation. So the body itself will be able to fight the uh, advancement or metastasis or growth of future tumors is the hope. Implications for this data is this is a new therapeutic option. So this, the warhead on CBX15 is already approved for other uses. It's predominantly for liquid tumors or uh, that, that's been applied to the Seattle genetics molecule, for example. What we are doing is with our platform, we are now able to translate it into solid tumors, particularly aggressive cancers or patients with fewer therapeutic options, as you pointed out correctly, triple negative breast cancer. Now you can take a potent molecule and apply, start applying it to it so that you now have patients who can benefit from a therapeutic which as yet is not available to them. A therapeutic option that should work, but is not available because it's not being targeted to those tumors or to those patients. We are now able to take it to those patients with CBX15.